so these are the important things that we have to take care whenever we are going for an interview or when we are solving our any question right so the first important part is requirement whenever you are given a any question learn all the requirement get all the requirements what what interviewer wants or what what you want from that system let's take a, a basic example let's say parking lot question in parking lot question you know you there can be so many requirement first requirement that how, what's the time cap what's the limit of the number of cars that can accommodate into this one then uh, should we have the how many how many parking lots we have how many entry exits we have right like do we have different cars or like all the uh, like all all the cars are of same size do we have the you know uh, depending on the vehicle type like wh whether do we have to apply parking for the two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler or even the big trucks buses like this so you have to basically ask each and everything from your interviewer and once you are satisfied then only start the work first to get the requirement just and even if you have some confusion just ask the question that hey uh, you know do do we have to do like this do we have to use the authentication here do we have to do like this and how you can ask the question once you know all these topics if you know about these topics then you know that where we can apply these things right so this is the first part then that ha first of all get the all the requirements once you are confident about the requirements then you see the system workflow that how would that how would a system workflow be there let's say just talk about the uh, basic url shortener in url shortener what is workflow very basic workflow they they there will be one ui so it means there will the first part will be ui in the ui url the user will add url uh, the user will paste the url the big url original url as soon as user click on the on the shorten the url it will go in our it will go in our backend now there will be a api which will basically which will basically act on this one which will be the like shorten url api this url api this url api will go will interact with another microservice or another logic which will which will using the hashing algorithm will short the url and once it short the url then will basically put into our database right there it will interact with the database and then will again back to give to the user the shorten url now this is our workflow so whenever you have got all the requirements understand the workflow just think about the system workflow that what would be the workflow of your system then let's see if there is some logic to solve the problem or not because some question has some logics like in this case as well when you are shorting a, when you are shorten the url in this case you have to put a logic which will short the url and what will the, the logic the logic will be the hashing algorithm which will short the url right so that's the logic in this problem sometimes the logic is let's say if you are booking if you are if you are making a you know like booking system for book my show then how seats will be arranged or like let's say if there is some problem in your payment system then let's say some concurrency then how would you solve that so that's a logic that how would you solve the concurrency problem that whether you will apply the logs whether you apply the thing that's your logic so let's see that in your problem do you have any logic or not if there is one logic then let's see this part right and then it comes the api creation that whether in your system do you have to create some apis generally most of the most of the time you have to create the apis because via api only you will basically have your backend part right so you have to see let's say if you are creating one short the url in shorten the url as soon as you get as soon as you have got your big url then you then it will basically the ui the ui part will hit the backend and here we'll have our apis so an api will take the big url will basically processes will basically make the hashing algorithm and then we'll put into database and then we'll return the shorten url so that will be the part of the api creation so understand from the interviewer and let's see that hey do we have to create the apis or even in fact you know let's see yourself that is there need of an api so you have to create the api so just little bit see about the api creation that how you can how we create the api right so that part we have to see like here i have mentioned explicitly rest apis even i have one videos so from there you can see that how you, that what is what are the rest apis right and how it will help to have our backend in this one now it comes the scaling performance 
so these are the two points when you are talking about this one because once once you are done with this part right once you are done this is part it means kind of you have got your requirement you have got your system workflow you have got the logic even you have your apis and that's it right now in fact apart than this i should also mention database uh because database designing is very important point so some of the question don't need database but some of the interview questions so most of the interview questions will have the database designing as well so you have to know about the database designing as well that which database i have to apply there because once your apis are done then where you will store your data you will store your data in database right or you will store data in cache so that's part we have to see it's kind of a storage thing so you have to design that which database i will choose whether i will choose the sql whether i will choose the no sql i again in no sql i will choose the cassandra or i will choose that one so when you will go when you will see this topic this no sql or sql here you will see all this thing that which are the things we should take care when we are designing or when you are taking like which database i should use right so once you are done with the database designing then it comes the scaling and performance now whenever it comes to scaling and performance all these topics will be important right so once you have learned all these things just see that hey can i apply the load balancer here load load balancer will definitely improve the scaling can i apply the cache cache will improve the performance right so see in your system using sharding if i have the many many you know like a url shortener if if i have a very big database i can i can shard the database then using the indexing let's say uh, let's say if i basically put the put the values indexing based on the username so i can search so i can index the username right i can index the shortener uh, the url shortener values i can index the, even the bigger urls so that it helps me in searching right so the point is i can put the indexing there as well i can put a proxy service as well so that i can filter some of the users some of the ip addresses or maybe let's say if you are putting the rate limiter so rate limit in rate limiter as well uh, this proxy server will be important can i put messaging queues right so the point is whenever you are searching whenever you are talking about the scaling and performance all these topics will be there because they help to improve the system and that's why it comes the system design that you are improving the system by putting the load balancer putting the cache sharding indexing proxy servers messaging queues right so that's what you have to see that whether where i can apply this and try to put this right even i would say you know like like because you would know each and everything once you learn this then see hey can i can i apply the messaging queue here like will it improve the will it improve, improve the performance of the system or like uh, uh, like right now i'm using no sql database even no sql i'm using just mongo db but can, if i use the cassandra then will it improve if i use the uh, let's say some other database will it improve the performance of the database right so that's what you have to see there now rest apis that we have talked about that we have to use the rest api so again you have to see that whether you have to apply the rest apis there hashing if i improve if i add the consistent hashing or if i apply the hashing will it improve the performance let's see there again let's say if there is a big data then do i have to use the hdfs or i have or if i have to use the zookeeper or if i have to use the hbase because even in the database there are multiple differences between each database whether if you use the mongodb cassandra hbase so that you have to see that which database i have to use then is there need of applying the microservice or can i can i distribute this particular monolithic system into multiple microservices can i apply rather than this big system into microservices right so that's part you have to see how can microservice will interact that part you know you when you are designing just observe this that how you will how you can up have the mi multiple microservices right because the advantage of microservices that it is easy to deploy the uh, uh, component independently right so that's that's why we have the microservices then for security what you are using see because let's say if you are using the basic system let's say even the shorten url now should i apply the login system because let's say if there are some if there is some people who are you know there is some person who is who is basically occupying the complete uh, your bandwidth so in this case you have to you can you may why you may want uh, you want to add the login system so see that whether you have to apply the authentication or the authorization as well 
or see that if you have to put some uh, put your system into uh, HTTPS or HTTP you want to put the SSL certificate again in SSL certificate which uh, type you have so the point is see that what security aspect you have to take care when you are designing the system because if you are talking about the security then it will really make an impact that even you are consider about the security aspect then let's say if there is some search infra uh, if there is some big data you have millions of customers let's say Amazon and Flipkart you know they have the millions of uh, like products there then how how we search let's say even if I put Apple iPhone it will immediately give you search now out of their millions of products how they are able to give you the products because their search infra is dependent on some big data now how we can handle we can use the solar or we can use the elastic search right so that's the point is that uh, which infra you are using like in solar it provides a full indexing so that really helps to improve the searching right machine learning that we have already talked that whether let's say if like in number plate system like I can basically you know uh, like figure out the number using the scanning the number plate from our OpenCV method uh, so that's where I can apply the machine learning so whenever you are designing system just observe can I use some automation there can I use some AI machine learning kind of thing right which will automatically do this thing so it will really make an impact uh, in your preparation right then automation that do I have to uh, like af after all these topics then you can basically put that hey I can even I have to also design the automation system which will automate the thing so that's what I, if there is a requirement you can basically discuss about this thing you can discuss from the interviewer that do I have to take care about the automation if he says yes then that is fine right so the point is scaling performance security and automation these are the four topics that we have covered so basically performance and scaling comes most of from here to here and then after that like I discussed security you have to ask you have to see which security you are applying automation again see that ask the interviewer you know discuss with the interviewer uh, that which automation you want to apply you want to apply you can have multiple automations you can have the API automation you can have the UI automation you can have your even uh, integration automation yeah unit test automation right so that's what you can basically discuss all this thing machine learning we discuss that again you know like you can see uh, that whether you can apply there right so my point is that whenever you are designing system let's say there is a question which you don't know much right so just start from this point see the requirements system or workflow logic API creation database designing and then try to put this thing somewhere try to put load balancer if there is possibility put cache sharding indexing proxy server messaging queues why I am giving much focus because when you will add all these topics then it will really make an impact the interviewer will think that hey you know all this thing it means and definitely if you know all this thing it can be very beneficial to their team right because uh, the things are exactly same in our even in our daily company environment as well you are given a problem then you need to solve that problem and if you are taking care of all these things then it will really help right because here you are taking care of the scaling you are taking care about the performance you are taking care about the security you are applying the machine learning you are taking about the big data you are taking care about the automation then what left right so the point is if you know about each and everything then it will really make a huge impact on the interviewer right so that's what you have to prepare uh, about the system design thing now apart than this you know these are the some of the basic thing that I have observed uh, from my experience and what I've heard from the people so that's what I will describe in a small uh, so first point is ask question because many times you know we discuss in the panel discussion that uh, you know the candidate was good but looks like you know he knew everything or he didn't ask the thing like uh, he knew he just uh, did everything and that's it there was no question from candidate and you might wonder that hey I, I did everything good then like why there is need to ask the question there was all the things there so the point is that you know in actual company environment you are not given the question of the URL shortener parking lot you know <laughs> because you know this question already the question will be new right the question will be that how could you transfer your uh, you know something there in a quick manner or let's say the question would be that how would you improve the perform performance of your new application how you can you improve the image enhancement these are the things that will be something kind of new right and for that what you would do 
you would ask the questions right you would ask the question that hey okay let's say i need to i need to design the image enhancement then you would ask the question that what would be the size of the image will there be multiple images or only one images what should be the you know width what should be like can i apply the machine learning there can i apply the open cv there or like uh, you know basically definitely whenever there is a new problem you would ask so many questions right so the point is that there are so many questions that will come to your mind even if you know just confirm from the interviewer second thing nothing is wrong because if we are designing a system that there is nothing wrong because a problem can have a multiple solution so even if you are designing let's say you are designing a uh, shortening the url and you are put and you are thinking about database you can have sql database you can have no sql database in no sql you can have mongodb cassandra you can have the hbase you can have anything so the point is it's just that sometime which is better you know some like it's not it's like you know something will be better in some part something will be better in some part so if you even so this thing will come when you don't know anything right let's say you are given a problem you don't know like what is the exact answer what is the exact more optimum solution so even if you don't know the optimum solution just try to fit these things just try to see that hey uh, you know you can say i can put a load balancer there i can put a cache i can put a sharding uh, i'll put a proxy server and these are the things which you have to use anyway in any systems right so it means nothing is wrong just discuss these things with your interviewer you know try you know keep engaging so that you know like he will also know that okay you know you are trying your best you know th that's what the point is nothing is wrong just try keep keep trying the different different approaches that you have the third part is don't give up because like i just said you know there is no right solution in the system design so just let's say if there is a new question don't just give up that i don't know because you know there is no definite solution so you can just try because even if there is a new solution you can just try to apply all these topics there just try to apply the load balancer apply to dot database rest api hashing ui messaging queue security search infra even if you tell so many things you know like uh, interview will definitely be impressed so the point is don't just give up just keep trying your things right now be positive you know some many times i have seen people you know they get tense and as, as soon as they get the new question so don't be negative because it's not your last company so be positive and definitely you will crack the things now be respectful you know that's what i always say that uh, you know even if you know the things even if you are from big companies uh, whatever you are you know you may be a very good coder in your team but if you are here for the interviewer if you are here for the interview so be respectful to interview interviewer don't show your attitude because many times you know in panel discussion we discuss this that candidate was good but there was a issue of attitude right so don't show that attitude to to interviewer be normal uh, be happy you know <laughs> so that's what i would say so these are the things that we should take care when we are solving the system design questions these are the important topics these were there were some behavioral things so thanks everyone for watching this video and if you have liked this video then please like it and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you